Welcome back, everybody, from all the way up here at the Igloo Proving Grounds. Beaverworks Diecast Racing's next Corvette again. Group D, oh yeah, four more drivers gunning for the last spot with this batch heading for the finals. Lots of vets have been competing. Only four are going to make it. Let's see who number four is tonight. Matchups. C606 Corvette driven by Doug from Diecast Motor City going up against the 69 Corvette Stingray by Mad Matt Team Shark 56. The 69 Copo Corvette driven by Piggy 2 Lail from Monster Motorsports. The 14 Corvette Stingray driven by Lily the Dog from Lily's Boneyard. Yep, that gives us a shark, a pig, and a dog. Race one. First match, we have Doug from Diecast Motor City going up against Mad Matt from Shark 56. First drop of the evening, here they go. And we've got Doug off the bottom stretch way out in front of Matt. Cut that bottom corner, looks like he's doing a couple of donuts and he is over the line with a 9.74, but look at Mad Matt. He is going for the flatbed on the top shelf. This is something we're starting to experiment with here at Beaverworks for a future style point system. We'll see how that works out. Checking out the ramp cam. 28 centimeters is the distance for Doug coming through there. Mad Matt, we didn't get a measure on. Sometimes that camera works, sometimes it doesn't. Igloo replay. You can see there Doug in that C6 is way out ahead of that 69 Stingray coming out of the first corner. He got like five, six car lengths inside there. That's insane. Around that bottom corner, he makes it look awesome. Blows a donut there so he can get a read on where Matt is. He's way out ahead, comes over top of the line. Matt goes shooting right past, going for the uh, flatbed on top shelf because he's mad. <laughs> Winner of race number one, Doug from Diecast Motor City. Race two. Moving on, lane switch this time. Doug on the C6 is going into lane number one. Mad Matt in the 69 is going down lane number two. And we're getting the same results. Doug is way, way, way out in front again. That thing is fast. He's holding it nice and straight this time and uh, makes it up onto the top shelf there. Mad Matt didn't make it onto the shelf at all this time. Looks like Doug is going to be taking it in two races. And there it is. Over top, let's see the ramp cam. That Doug is flying in that 06. 30 centimeters, second race, that's not too shabby at all. We're still not getting a accurate read. We're gunning at 22 centimeters there for Mad Matt coming through. He's coming through late on that camera. Checking out the Igloo replay. You see there, down the first stretch, that C6 is way out in front already. By the time they even get to that, their uh, ramp cam, there's already six, eight car lengths in between of them. That's fast. They're cruising down that first straight. Going for our late model, matching up with the classic Corvettes. Late model gets it this time. 06 C6 Corvette gets it over top of the 69 Stingray. Mad Matt's still coming out, doing an excellent job entertaining everybody today. But the two out of three, and first match goes to Doug. Diecast Motor City in the Corvette C6. 69 Corvette Stingray driven by Mad Matt is eliminated. Race three. All right, moving on to the second matchup. First race, we've got Piggy versus Lily. The freaking pig versus the dog. Here we go. Piggy on the outside. Lily on the inside. And Piggy is way out in front. Check that out. That 69 Copo is on the top shelf. Gets over top of the line with a 10.38 time. That is awesome. And there's Lily the dog. Coming down through the midsection right there. That was a good battle all the way down. Over to the ramp cam. We can see Copo is flying through. See what kind of uh, distance Piggy's getting. 27 centimeters, Lily's getting 20 centimeters. Excellent job between both of them. Going back to the Igloo replay, coming off the start. They're both pretty even coming out. You can see Copo's just inching out a little bit. Lily's coming back just a little bit. Their door handle, door handle through that first corner coming out of there. Copo's up on two wheels. 
Piggy Two Lil is throwing it down. Monster Motorsports is bringing it home, giving us a little bit of a profile drift all the way through that corner, straightening out over the line like a dart. The first race in our second match of the Animal Run. <laughs> I'll have to call it that this time. Piggy 2 Lil in the Copo 69 Camaro. Monster Motorsports gets this one. Race 4. Second race in the second matchup between these two. Lane switch. Copo's got the inside. Stingray's got the outside. Here they go. Door handle to door handle. Copo is up in front of the Stingray. Big beautiful drift through the 3D bot maker corner, blows it around down at the bottom for a 1038. Copo gets it in two. That's twice tonight. That doesn't happen very often. Two out of threes. First two out of three was done in two. This one's a done two. Checking out the ramp cam. 31 centimeters for the Copo Camaro. Not bad, Lily the dog's coming through at 21 centers. All discombobulated through that jump it looked like. Igloo replay. This was the deciding match between these two. They're nice and even coming down off that first straightaway going in. Do they are crash racers corner. Copo is pulling up in front of that stingray. Over top of the jump, Monster Motorsports makes it look awesome. Coming out of that corner, just drifting. Piggy 2 Lil is bringing it home. Monster Motorsports gets this round. Gets it in two. Late model is beaten out by the classic Monster Motorsports in the 69 Copo is moving on to the finals and Lily the Dog in the 14 Stingray is eliminated. Race 5. Final match tonight, 69 Copo Corvette, Piggy 2 Lil, 14 Stingray driven by Doug. Here they go. Down the first straight. These are both fast cars. Piggy blowing it around. Doug is not catching up. Catches up at the line, but just a little too short and does a little pirouette up there on the top shelf. All right. Whatever style you want to throw down is okay as long as you make it down to the bottom. All right, going over and checking out the ramp cam. Let's get the measurements on these. Piggy's coming through backwards. <laughs> All right. 28 centimeters for Piggy 2 Lil there. Doug's coming through at 25. Igloo replay. Slow motion replay coming down through here. All right, they're still pretty even. All the way down to the bottom, coming through the crash racer's corner. Their door handle, door handle. Piggy 2 Lil is out, lowering it around so they can get through the ramp cam backwards. Different strokes for different folks, I guess. There we go. There's a, another donut at the end. Little burst of speed coming out of Doug, but just a little bit too late. Piggy 2 Lil from Monster Motorsports taking this one. First race out of the three, 69 Copo Corvette. Race six. Second one in our final two out of three tonight. 69 Copo Corvette Piggy 2 Lil is in lane number one. 14 Stingray Doug in lane number two. Nice and smooth coming down the front and looks like Doug pushes Piggy up over the railing coming down the mid straight and is taking this win. The 69 Copo is still making it through, but yeah, almost had a tragedy there coming down the mid stretch. Might have been a little bit of Doug trying to force a little bit of Piggy too little off the road. Checking out the ramp cam. Seeing the distance measurement on that. Doug's coming through straight 26 centimeters. Piggy's coming through at 20 centimeters sideways. Guess you gotta put your flag on it somehow, eh? Checking out the igloo replay. Main stretch is good. Both these cars are fast and pretty evenly matched coming down there. Comes to the drivers in the corners. Right there you can see for sure Doug is pushing Piggy 2 Lil up over top of the edge. But somehow she was able to get back down and get it straight. And still was able to make it over the line with a good time. Doug gets this race in the C6 
Corvette representing Diecast Motor City doing an awesome job. Race, race seven. seven. Final race of the day. These two both got it in two races out of the two out of the three. Going to three races on this one. That's a good battle. Coming down the main street. 69 Copos out in front. Looks like it's going to be Piggy 2 Lil Monster Motorsport is going over the line first and is taking the two out of three. Doug comes up for a little tap at the end there. Excellent race. Down the mid stretch, we got Doug blown a donut halfway down. We got Piggy 2 Lil blown a donut on the final straight. Finally gets that jump cam nice and straight in that 69 Copo. 30 centimeters for a nice big long jump on that. 17 centimeters, got Doug coming through backwards. All right, Igloo replay this time on the final race. Look at these two are. Doug almost looks like he's getting out ahead a little bit. Copo comes up. Again, side by side, looking at each other. Right through that first freaking corner and down to the jump cam. Piggy's got it nice and dialed in. Good and straight. Giving us a classic profile drift all the way down the side there again. Over the line. Piggy 2 Lil gets it in the 69 Copo. Monster Motorsports is moving on. Piggy 2 Lil did an excellent job driving. 69 Copo Corvette did an excellent job performing. The 06 C6 driver Doug is eliminated. There we go, winner Group D, Team Monster Motorsports. They put on an excellent show over on their channel. But for now, joining up the other three for our finals. Corvette again finals going to be up next week. And we'll put these four up against each other. See who comes out there. Excellent job done by all the drivers tonight. And as usual, we're going with our end of the show track shout outs going out to Chaos Canyon, Canyon Outlaws, also the Diecast Racing News, they used to call it the DSPN Report, means I'm going to have to change all of the branding we have on the track here, we've got the crews to take care of that, Kit Kaham and his monthly Diecast Racing Report magazine online, you can check that one out. Redline Derby Racing for all of the stuff you need. Track information, tournament deadlines, mail-ins, all there. Build information, always good stuff in there. Slam Man Customs for giving us this awesome start gate that's making all of our starts for this tournament nice and fair and even. We like that. And most of all, thanks all of you for watching our stuff. Till next week. Or just in case something else pops in the meantime, from Beaverworks Diecast Racing, thanks for watching. <laughs>